guys, welcome to Tasty Tuesday. So this is baking life hacks, also known as baking tips, whatever I call it in the title is what it is. Haven't thought of that yet and I'm also pre-recording a video so I probably won't see any comments or anything but all I will, my backstage behind the scenes <laughs> gal. But um, she'll see them, but I won't. So if you give me tips, hopefully she'll like write them down and remember them and tell me, or I'll look at them after I'm back. So you can still leave comments and all sorts of things. So basically, the first one of life hacks, so number one, one, is if you have caster sugar, say, say you needed 300 grams, and you only have 273, you can make that up with granulated sugar. Just make sure that's been sieved twice instead of just once. Twice. <laughs> instead of just once. Because otherwise, like, it's it, the, it's the same taste. It's just the consistency is the slightest bit different. And the same goes if, you, um, if you're, like, 10 grams off of granulated sugar. Just use caster sugar, but don't sieve it. Sieve it, whatever you want to say. Um, second one is if you don't have an icing bag or if you have to make chocolate moulds. Chocolate moulds are pretty easy to freehand in my point of view. But what you need is a plastic bag, obviously some icing or chocolate or whatever. And then just like literally fill it up to like there and trim off the smallest corner. Like the smallest little corner because if you trim off like a big corner it's going to come out to this massive hold and yeah you're gonna like unless that's what you want and yeah so there's just my hole <laughs> and I'm not sure if you can see my finger through it but yep that's it that's really simple you need scissors plastic bag Ziploc bags work better but I can find one at this point in moment so next one is if you don't have um Self-raising flour, you're like 20 grams off. You can just use like plain flour. It's the same thing, except it won't raise. Like it'll still raise, but that 20 grams isn't so much of a big deal. So like, you can still use it. And the next thing is, if you want mini pancakes and don't want to get a mini pan, use a metal, not plastic, but metal cookie and um, cutter with a round thing at the bottom. Just put that in the pan, pour in your mixture, and voila! And the last one, well actually there's one more after this, I'm pretty sure. Um, if you don't have this, or if you don't have this, supplement. Because they're basically the same thing, they taste slightly bit different. This one has a bit of sugar, so if you're adding in lots of sugar, add in a little bit less sugar. And... The... The last one is a smoothie. So say you are lending off your blender to someone later and I don't know what you could be doing with your blender or if you like ran out of products later or something. Basically, if you need to, you can make a smoothie, put it in the freezer and just freeze it and just like take it out or put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds or something it'll be fine so I think that's it for Tasty Tuesday like, subscribe, comment down below and bye